Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is test the strength of paper. What you need for this experiment, of course, paper, tape, books, marbles, and a jar or a cup. All right, so in this video, we have two different experiments we're gonna do. We're gonna test the strength of a piece of paper, a single piece of printer paper, right? And so the first one is we're going to uh, just put it down and make it into a bridge and then see how much weight it can support and then do different experiments with that to see how they uh, how we can increase the weight it can support. The second one is I took a piece of paper and I folded it into a square, um, a triangle, and a cylinder. And then I'm going to take some books and I'm going to stack them on top of these to see which one of these shapes can support more weight. And then I'll tell you the science behind that. This is the first of two experiments. So this one is how much can a paper bridge hold in weight? So I'm using marbles and, and I'm going to use that plastic cup to put on top. So basically put your books apart and put your just a regular piece of paper, um, printer paper, and put it on top there. And then as long as the cup can fit all the way down, and then we're going to start our test. So we take one marble at a time, as long as they're all the same weight. And you can see... It doesn't even support one marble, so it kind of pulls in right away. So what I'm going to do is fold the paper in half twice. So it's got four pieces, and I put it on top. And I got one, two, and three, and it looks like four. So it's going to hold three on that one. So I'm mixing things up a little bit. This time I'm going to take the piece of paper, a regular computer paper, and I'm going to fold it up multiple different times, but fold it not just once or twice, but maybe five or six times all the way across to see if there can be support more marbles. So there it is, just like that. Same single piece of paper. And now make a prediction to see how many you think it's going to hold. So um, right off the bat, I started with two, and then it was not balanced right. So you've got to really make sure your paper is folded evenly so it can support the cup. And as we go through, I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to do it. So, But if you want to count the marbles, you can slow down this video and count them yourself. And I'm going to give you the totals at the end when I get there. So here it is in fast motion, and I will continue to add these up for you. You can see that the... the Broke, paper broke down where it's folded a little bit, but it's really supporting it still, and it's not even giving in. And here we're at 20 marbles and still going. It's starting to bend about 24, and as we start to go, you can see it's starting to go. It's getting there, and we're coming to the final end before it breaks. And it looks like we're going to have 36 marbles, um, and the 37th marble broke it. So this time I folded it 12 times, so twice as many as last time, and we saw that it's holding more with this. So go ahead and make a prediction how many marbles it's going to uh, hold this time with 12 folds, and uh, we pretty much should see more because we saw a lot more with 6 folds, and so I think it's going to probably be the same. I've got this in fast motion. You can slow motion if you want to see the count, but here's the total. We end up with 57 marbles. It broke right in the middle there. And it pretty much doubled the, almost doubled the numbers. So here's my two different designs, 6 and 12 folds. And 12 folds was... So the second experiment here is with columns. And so we're going to start off with a square. And we're going to make a prediction on how many books it can support. So go ahead and pick those. There's one. I'm going to speed this up into fast motion. Two, three, four, five... And I switch sides here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So and the eleventh one broke. To... Okay, test number two is the triangle. <laughs> two, not one book. Let's try it one more time just to make sure I didn't do it wrong, right? One book. Okay, so here's the last one here. We're doing the cylinder. So I'll speed this up in fast motion, and you can slow it down if you want to look at it, and we'll keep totals as we're going. 
but you can see it already is surpassing both the triangle, of course, and the square as it can support so much more weight as we're getting close to the end here. So there's 24, 25. Oh, twenty six books when it fell, 25 books it supported, which is a heck of a lot more than the triangle, which didn't do hardly anything, and the rectangle. So, okay, the science behind these columns in the books are um, with the shapes. So the, the square, of course, has four sides, four walls. The triangle has uh, three sides and three walls. And the cylinder has uh, one wall, one side, right? So uh, when we're doing a test on strength, um, we have to stretch that uh, weight all the way across all the sides. And unfortunately, these two here, the square and the triangle, have edges. And so this one has four edges and this has three, and it cannot equally distribute the weight throughout the, the sides and therefore it doesn't hold as much. Where the cylinder only has one wall and no edges. So therefore, when you stack the books on, it can evenly distribute all the weight and therefore hold more books than the other two columns. Please uh, try this at home. Leave in the comments below how many you've got. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please subscribe and click thumbs up.